remember grabbing his keys and I remember just whoo, chucking him at his back. Wow, it hit him in the back. Black girl magic got your attention. Make a body like them Donald. Mm -hmm. Tell me pussy, but it's in the run of Fumble. Mm -hmm. Talked out of shit, he must have thought I was a runner. Mm -hmm. Megan told y'all it's a hot girl summer. Mm -hmm. Pretty and pretty, but I'm so nasty. What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Renita Lane, and we is back up in this thing, y'all. And we back with another lit ass video if you're an og subscriber welcome back to the side y'all already know how we get down and if you're a new subscriber welcome to the side we're full of positive energy and vibes only so if you with that negative shit you gotta go elsewhere because we ain't with that shit okay period okay make sure you like up this video comment below hit that bell so you're always notified when your girl's about to upload another lit video y'all as y'all read about the title, this is EP7, I think. I think this is EP7. Um, so, yeah. No, it is. It is. It's EP episode 7 of the series. So, this is the story time, as y'all read by the title. So, make sure y'all get y'all drinking your drink, 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 and your smokity smoke, 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 or whatever it is you like to indulge in when you're listening or watching my story times. And let's go ahead and get into all right, y'all, so y'all read the title. I don't know what the title's gonna be yet, but y'all read the title, okay? So with this particular episode, before we get in, get into the episode, now with this particular story time, I couldn't for the life of me remember when this one happened because I really feel like I should have told this story time before I told my last two story times. I think this happened before then because this was around the time when, like I said, Narc just was getting sloppy with things and bold and just, kind of just disregarding the boundaries that, you know, I had said in the beginning, if we were going to, you know, do the whole inviting women in our bedroom, do the whole three-way thing, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I can't, I think this is the one I should, probably should have told before then, but I can't really remember y'all. All this happened so long ago. Can't really remember, but we're going to go ahead and get into the story time. So let's get into it. Okay, so at this particular time, like I told y'all, when these things happen, because somebody asked me this too as well, like when these particular things happen, when he would hurt me and do these grimy things to me or whatever the case may be, it was never back to back, back to back, back to back. It was always like spread out. So what I mean by that, like it'll happen and then like I would try to move on for the situation and then for that a period of time when I'm moving on from the situation, it might have been like six months seven months down the road and everything is just so good and that was probably one of the reasons why it was also just so hard for me to leave a situation that i know i should have left a long time ago and i just overstayed my welcome when i should have left was because like when he would treat me good it would be good like he would do any and everything for me like he would show me love and affection and it was just like up and down though it was never consistently but around this time like after he hurt me it was like he would treat me treat me right after that like it was like he would put me on a high pedestal and then when he would hurt me he would knock me right back down and it was just like this roller coaster of like how my emotions was like up and then my emotions were down like just how he made me feel within my emotions like I'd be happy then sad then mad then depressed then just whatever he just had my mind just going y'all like I said he was in complete control of my emotions okay so like i said when certain things would happen it would be like a long time before something else would happen and in between them times he was great he was a perfect guy like if you take away him not being uh monogamous and wanting multiple women and and cheating and just the manipulation and the control and everything like that if you take away all the negative things that he has about himself he would probably be the perfect the perfect guy, the perfect man, because when he was a good person <laughs> to me, he was a good person to me or a good man to me or whatever the case may be, okay? Sorry if I'm rambling, but yeah, I just kind of just want y'all to know where we were at around this time. So yeah, he would be the perfect person, but we all know that's just not the case, okay? So yeah. So anyway, y'all, so around this time, that whole situation happened, like I told y'all in the last episode, and it had been a long time since we had did anything with anybody because it would always, like I said, just be spread out. So it was this particular event that was coming up 
and I think it was like a fight or something like that. It was somebody, it was like a professional fighter. I can't remember his name, but I think he's from Dallas, but it happened in Dallas. It was a professional fight going on that he wanted to go to. And I think everybody in Dallas was going, it was like a really, really big event or whatever. And they was going to have it at the Cowboy Stadium. So he told me about it and he was just like, I'm going to get a limo. Uh, we going to dress up real nice. I'm going to get a limo, et cetera, et cetera. And I think I want to say at the time he told me like he was inviting somebody else to come. And usually when you tell me he's inviting somebody else to come with us, it's usually another female. And when he does that, I already know what time he on and yeah so at this time and like i said y'all with this whole three-way thing when you start doing these type of situations like honey you are probably gonna open up pandora's box okay like it can go left or right like it just completely depends i highly do not recommend it after experiencing the experiences that i have experienced with doing this with my partner okay and if you are gonna do it i just would say don't do it with somebody that you care about don't do it with somebody that you love just just don't okay um so yeah but anyway so he basically said he had somebody that he was gonna invite he told me it was a female it was a girl whatever so i already knew what type of time he was on but around this time this is when we were doing these things now like i said i think this is when things really started to get sloppy before the other story times that i told so yeah so at this point in time um he told me that so i went to the mall i actually have a vlog on my channel about this night like i have a vlog it's like my very first vlog i ever did it looked ratchet and ghetto uh, if y'all want to go look at it y'all go look at it y'all see y'all will see the girl in that video y'all will see everything that kind of transpired in that video y'all and it's crazy because i actually went back and watched that old first time vlog that i did and in that video he made a comment when i was uh, doing my vlog he was like whoa 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 like he was trying to get out the camera and i was just like oh it's my vlog it's my vlog and then he made a comment he said well this is the boyfriend that don't want to be a part of the video or the vlog and when i look back on it and i hear him say that it's like he probably saying that because it's like hmm like it's on video you probably was messing around with god knows who at that time and who, however many women so when i go back and watch that vlog i'm like damn that was a red flag right there it's like why you don't want to why you the boyfriend that don't want to be a part of the vlog don't want to be a part of the video or be shown and da da it's like yeah, when I went back and watched it, I was like, red flag, red flag, red flag. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. But anyway, so yeah, so he had this all this night all planned out. He was just like, I'm gonna have my suit on, get a, get a nice dress. Because at this fight event, like it's one of those fight events where you're supposed to like dress dress nice and stuff like that or whatever. So I'm like, okay, so I go to the mall. I give me a cute little black and white dress. It was long and floyd, whatever. And I was looking cute that night or whatever. So I'm looking cute that night. And then I end up driving to his house because he said to meet him at his house. So I was driving to his house to meet him. Mind you, he said he was going to have a limo and everything like that when we got there. So when I got to the house, he was there and we were waiting. Was the girl, wait, I can't remember if the girl was already there when I got there or did she come a little bit after me? I want to say she was there when I got there. So when I pulled up, the girl was there. So we gonna call this girl. We gonna call her. What should we call her? I don't really know. We just gonna call her child, okay? And I'm <laughs> saying that for a reason. We just gonna call her child, okay? So I pull up to his crib. He greets me outside. He gives me a hug, gives me a kiss. And then we go inside. And then he introduced me to child. Now, mind you, like I said, I always set boundaries in the beginning before we even start doing stuff like this i always set boundaries like how i wanted to go and etc cetera, etc cetera, right so being that i he he's the one who got this girl right i did not know this girl so i don't know if he's already been fucking on this girl i don't know how he met this girl like how he even know her for her to even come to even be down with the situation that he's trying to have going on like i just don't know so you know i already kind of really just didn't really like that but i'm just like you know what i'm just gonna go with the flow tonight i'm not gonna trip i'm just gonna go with the flow so that's basically what i did so like i said i did not know the girl whatever so when i go in there um this was my first time meeting a girl but obviously he knows her or met her some type of way shape or form right so i go in 
and the girl is in there whatever she sees me she's a cute she's a cute girl you know what i'm saying so she sees me we, she, he introduced us uh he was like hey this is a uh, child this is my this is my girl renita and she's just like oh hey what's up you so pretty oh my gosh she's so pretty da -da -da -da. she just kept on saying how pretty i was i was like oh you pretty too so we just complimenting each other or whatever um and then we just kind of like vibed out for a little bit and just drunk a little bit or whatever the case may be i start asking her questions like <clears throat> just little questions whatever just getting to know her or something like that and then she looked kind of young to me like i don't know she looked young to me but she could have been older you just never know so i asked her how old she was so i asked child like how old she was and she was just like on um, 18. i'm like 18 like you know what i'm saying i think she was like 18 getting ready to be 19 or something like that so I'm like 18, like in my head, I'm thinking 18. I'm like, damn, she young. Mind you, y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I just find it very weird. It's so weird to me when a man, anybody, any man that's like in their late 20s or something, almost damn near 30, who talks to a 18 year old or has interest in a 18 year old, 19 year old, whatever, that to me is just kind of like pedophilia. I don't know. I don't know. Am I? Am I weird for thinking that? Because I just feel like, damn, they're still in their teens. And then like 18, like she was just 17 probably last year or a couple months ago or something like that, right? So it's just kind of like weird to me. It's just like 18, like what? 18. So when she told me that, I did kind of think like, what the hell? Because you always wonder like what, like especially like an older man with an 18 year old or something like 18 or a 19 year old, you always wonder like, what do you want with a child? <laughs> that's why I named her a child. Like, what do you want with a girl that's just that young like it's just mm -mm. and see the thing about it is a lot of men who are older who choose women who are that young it's all about a control thing for them because they know that they can control that person and they can groom that that one that young woman how they want them to be or whatever the case may be they can manipulate them easy uh easy or it's easy to manipulate them or whatever wh whatever the case may be right so it's a lot of, of, it's more about control when you do see men with these younger girls because they know that they can probably manipulate them a little bit more, like I said, and just take control, right? Because they're young and they pretty much going to do whatever, probably whatever they fucking say, right? So yeah, I just found it weird. So when she said that, I was kind of like taken back, like, damn, 18? Like, wow, like, okay, like, okay, cool, whatever. And yeah, that kind of bothered me a little bit because I'm just like, what the, what the fuck, like 18? So yeah, she told me that. And then she also told me she was a stripper, y'all. So she was a stripper. So I don't know if she dropped out of high school. I don't know if she graduated high school and she just became a stripper or, or like, I don't know, right? So she told me she was a stripper. So I'm like, okay, so that means he must have met her as far as like when she was a stripper. Mind you, I never asked Nart like how he met her where he met her i just assumed that he met her in the strip club right because she said she was a stripper and i can't remember what strip club she said she was a stripper but she was a stripper so yeah so she was a stripper and i'm like okay cool whatever so time had passed the limo had pulled up so narc was like all right the limo here let's go ahead and get in the limo so we get in the limo he got drinks we had well, he had brought drinks in the limo. He had the music going in the limo. It was lit. It was turning. It seemed like it was going to be a good night. Like, everything was going good so far, right? So, we didn't have no issues at all. Like, if you watch my vlog, it was lit. It was turning. Like, we was having a good time. We was mingling, talking. Like, everything was good. So, we get in the limo. We just still mingling, having a good time. We get to the, um, to the fight. We go to the fight. We enjoy the fight. And then we leave. And we get in the limo. And we go to our next designation right so as we're in a limo we go to our next designation i believe we went to park avenue and then we went to ecstasy the first time we went to park avenue so we went to the club like we literally was just hopping from place to place we went to the fight then we went to the club and then we went to the strip club so we at the strip club we just turning up we having a good time like everything just seems like it's just normal at this point we have some drinks in our system so I'm a little tipsy or whatever. I think old girl's a little tipsy. Of course, Narc, he tipsy as hell. And yeah, so nothing really bad has really happened thus far. Like he hasn't really been disrespectful in any type of way. Um, it's just been cool or whatever. So after we had left Ecstasy, 
we get into the limo. Now, this is when things kind of like turn left for me. Because at this point, I'm tipsy. And, you know, when you tipsy, you know, you probably get into your feelings and your emotions and, you know, a little bit more, whatever. So, we're in the limo. And it's Narc. Narc is sitting right here. I'm sitting on this side of Narc. And she's sitting on the other side of Narc. So basically, Narc is sitting in between us in the limo. So we just in the limo and we getting ready to go back to the crib. I already know what's supposed to be going down. What obviously is going to happen when we get back to the crib or whatever. So we're in the limo. And um, as we in the limo, I noticed that like he's basically starting to just be like all over her. Like he's really not paying me no attention, no mind, no nothing. Like I just noticed that he over there like on her neck and like kissing on her i'm kind of like nudging him a little bit like like just chill like even though i know what we supposed to be doing but it's just like what he was doing it's like he was just dis disregarding it was like i wasn't even there basically y'all it was like i was non-existent i wasn't there he wasn't paying me no attention no mind so of course i would be in my feelings and be like hold on like what are you doing like mm -mm, like this, that's not how this shit supposed to go down like he wasn't even trying to get me to join in he wasn't trying to do nothing he was just trying to have that for himself or whatever it seemed like so he started doing that and he starts putting his hands in her pants and stuff and just all over her just just drooling all over her just all over the girl right so I'm just kind of nudging him and I'm just like, yo, like chill. He looking back at me, he like he with an attitude, like, like you tripping type shit. And I'm just like, no, you tripping, like you doing too much right now, like chill out, like damn, we about to go back to the crib. Like you doing too much right now, like chill the fuck out. And I was just kind of like upset because he was not paying me no attention, no mind. It was like I wasn't even there. And he was just doing, he was just being thirsty and just all on this girl. And then in my head, like, when stuff would happen, it's just like, if you like this in front of my face, I know you 10 times worse behind my back. I just know you are. So, I'm just immediately just turned off. I don't even want to do this shit no more. I'm in my feelings right now. Um, and I had never really, when we first started doing three ways, it was never like how it was whenever we met this girl and he started getting sloppy or whatever the case may be. So because of that like i started to feel a little bit insecure about certain things and i was just i don't know i just didn't like it so when that was going on he would always have an attitude whenever i would say something or like stop him from doing something or tell him to chill out because he's doing too much right now and i'm his girl and i'm right there like you're not even you're not even joining me in if we're gonna do this we're gonna do it together but don't act like i'm not here and then you think I'm just finna let you just do what you're doing right now just with her. And I'm just finna sit here and watch you do that. Like, no, that's not how, that's not how it's gonna go down. That's not how we talked about it. That's not how, what we discussed, how this shit gonna go. Like, no, that's not what's happening. So he doing that. I'm obviously upset and he's just acting like he don't want to stop doing what he doing. And I just keep on like inter intervening in the situation. Like, no, like chill, like damn, like chill. So, he ended up stopping. He acting like he got an attitude. We end up, I remember we ended up getting into like a little argument in a limo. And I think Child was kind of like looking at me and looking at him. And then she ended up telling him, she was just like, chill, just chill. Like, or whatever. And he looking at me like he got an attitude because of the whole situation. So, we end up pulling back up to the crib. We get to the crib. At this point, like the mood is kind of like real off like i really don't even want to do this no more i'm mad i'm in my feelings i'm just not i'm i'm good on it i don't want to do this shit no more like that's just kind of like how i'm feeling so we go in and we go upstairs and i kind of give me something else to drink and he gets something else to drink i think we all end up getting something else to drink or whatever and we go upstairs and i already know like this is still a thing he still wants to do or whatever but i'm like i said i'm just kind of like in my feelings at this moment i don't even think i want to do this no more so we get in the bedroom he end up getting comfortable i end up getting a little comfortable and then we get in the bed and same thing happened like he was well at first he was just like you want me to sleep in the middle he's like i'm, I'm gonna get in the middle or whatever so he got in the middle and she's laying on one side i'm laying on the other side same thing as in the car he starts going over there towards her starts trying to kiss on her get on top of her and 
fuck her and stuff like that. And like I said, once again, not paying me any mind. Now, I can't for the life of you under tell y'all why he would do that. But I, part of me felt like he knew how that made me f feel. And he just, I don't know. I don't know if he just liked the fact that he knew that shit was making me feel some type of way or... I don't know, y'all. I really can't tell y'all. Because like I said before, like, he has complete control over my emotions and how I feel. And I really felt like he got a thrill out of that shit or something like that. Like, he got off on that shit or something. But anyway, it was just weird. So he just started, you know, messing with her and, like, disregarding me. Like, I wasn't even there. So I kind of nudged him. And I'm just like, man, I don't, we not doing this. Like, I don't even really want to do this no more. Like, I... I don't, I don't think I told him that, but like my attitude and how I am, you could tell I really don't want to do this no more. So he's still doing what he's doing with her. I end up getting up and going to the restroom and using the restroom and I'm in the restroom. I'm just like, this nigga is tripping. I go back in the room. He in the bed. And I'm just like, man, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Like, I just, I feel some type of way right now. Like, I just felt some type of way at that point in time. Like, and I just didn't want to do it. Like, I just didn't want to do it. And he's just like, man, just come back in the bed. Like, everything's all good. Like, we, we can do this together. Now he's trying to act like he's trying to do it with both of us, whatever the case may be. So he ended up talking me into getting back into the bed. So I got back into the bed and it was just kind of starting back up. But he was still doing the same thing that he was doing before. And y'all ain't gonna lie. I just, at this point, I just really don't want to do it. Like, I feel how I feel. And that's just that. And at that point in time, I always felt like if I feel this way and I just don't want to do it no more. Like, if you're my man, you should be on that same type of time. Like, okay, well, I'm gonna do whatever is gonna make you feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, if you feel in some type of way, then I ain't gonna do it either. That's just that, right? But no, not with him. He just feel like if he if if he going to do it, he going to do it and it is what it is and just disregard how I feel and what I want at that particular time, right? And that's exactly what he did. So, he end up fucking her. So, he ended up having sex with her. I remember getting out the bed and I remember like I don't know if I I didn't go complete. I don't think did I go off that day? No, I remember he, he got in the bed. He was on top of her. He was fucking her. There was some keys on his dresser. I got the keys because I was so mad because I just felt like you're not even listening to me. You disregard, disregarded my feelings and how I feel right now. So I was pissed off. Like, and I wanted him to stop because, like, nigga, I told you how I feel and you just gonna keep on going. You just gonna keep on doing what you're doing. Like, I already said I don't want to do it. Mind you, when he did tell me to get back in the bed, we were we did start to do stuff all together, but it was just like the way he was doing shit, it just like it just turned me off. So I was like, nah, I'm not doing it. So I stopped. So I end up uh when I did get out the bed, like I said, when he was fucking her, I ended up grabbing his keys. Now, mind you, he got a hella keys on his little keychain thing. I remember grabbing his keys and I remember just whoo, chucking them at his back. And hit him in the back i remember hit him in the back and then i i went down the stairs my this was like a two-story uh two-story house at the time i remember um hitting him in the keys hitting him in the keys hitting him in the back with the keys and leaving out the room going downstairs i grabbed my purse i grabbed my keys mind you y'all it's late it's something o'clock in the morning it's probably like three something four something probably like four something in the morning at this point right so I ended up grabbing my keys and I left out the door. Like I stormed out the door. I slammed the door and then I went in my car and I'm sitting here crying. Now, when I did all that, I was expecting him to come chase me, you know, to come run after me or something. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm his girl at the end of the day. You see, I'm, I'm upset. I'm mad. So I'm expecting him to be like two steps behind me or something. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm expecting him to be behind me. So as I'm in the car, I don't drive off. I, at this point in time, I don't think I really had any intentions on leaving. I was just pissed off and I wanted him to come after me. You know what I'm saying? I wanted him to come after me and, and apologize or be like, you know, or something. I just wanted that, right? So I'm in the car crying and I just realized I'm like, this nigga ain't even came out the house. He's still in the house. He heard me walk out the door. It's four, it's four o'clock in the morning. 
it's late it's dark it's you know what i'm saying anything could have happened i'm i'm going outside by myself getting in my car like you ain't even coming to check for me you ain't even coming to check for me like you stay in there you probably still in there in the bitch right so you didn't even come check for me so i'm in the car getting even more boiled on the inside and pissed off because he didn't come check for me like i'm so pissed off i'm like wow and i waited in my car for a cool 10 minutes i probably been in my car for a cool 10 minutes well probably less than 10 minutes because i was so mad i couldn't wait no longer i had to go back up in that motherfucker so i'm in my car and i'm just like wow he ain't even come check for me he ain't even come after me he ain't do nothing like wow that's crazy like he really don't care like he really do not care y'all like he didn't he he just does not care y'all okay period by this point y'all know he don't give a fuck okay and i'm just still living in damn delulu land okay so he don't care and i'm in my car and i'm just sitting here just like crying mad upset the whole nine yards right so i end up getting out my car and going back in going into the going into the room and I'm just like, you don't even fucking give a fuck about me. You still in here trying to this bitch. Da, 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 da. Like, I'm just going off, y'all. I'm going completely off. I've had enough. I'm tired. I'm fed up. Like, why did you keep doing this to me? Like, I feel how I feel how I feel in that moment, right? So I'm just mad. I was just like, you didn't even come check for me. You didn't even come see what's going on. Da, da, da. Like, he's just sitting there not even doing nothing. So I end up leaving that room. And going into the other guest room. Like, I leave that room and I go into the guest room. And I literally just get in the bed. And I end up falling asleep. Now, I don't know. When I had went back up there, they weren't still having sex. Like, I think whenever I threw that the keys at his back, I think she probably, I think she was more so the person just kind of told him, like, all right, stop, get off me type shit. Because, like, when I came back, they wasn't doing nothing. She was on the way on the other side. He was on the other side. He had his clothes on. Like, they wasn't doing nothing, right? So, I went into the guest room. I literally fell asleep, like I said, cried myself to sleep, fell asleep. Next thing you know, I hear somebody come into the guest room, and it's him. Like, it's just him. Now, remember when I tell y'all, like, a lot of the times, he would baby boy me. And sometimes I would let him baby boy me. Now, if you don't know what I mean when I say baby boy me, then you just ain't watched the movie Baby Boy, okay? So he would come into the room. So he came into the room where I was at. And I'm asleep, mind you. And all I know is I feel somebody, like, coming up behind me, like, and cutting, like, spooning me from behind. So he's spooning me from behind, and he's rubbing me, and he's caressing me, and I end up waking up. And he just started kissing on me and touching. Mind you, I'm still upset and mad. And I'm really not trying to do nothing. But, like, he starts to baby boy me, like, on something. Like, he know I'm mad at him. And I don't know. He just, I don't know what. This man had, like, a fucking spell on me or something. It's just like he always just knew just he could do the littlest thing. And, you know, it's going to be all good or whatever. And he felt like that he felt like when he came in there and like seduced me i guess um that after that it was gonna be all good and said when it was all said and done so he came in there and he did that and then he started having sex with me and so when we having sex he was just like what he say he would say the craziest things during sex that's probably a red flag kind of like made me look at him side eye or whatever but like during sex like when stuff like that would happen he knew i was mad he was just like, that's a good girl. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. That's a good girl. You you know I you know I love you. Like that's a good girl. Like just be patient. You know, you know, you know I got you. Like, you know, this this show this show D. Da, 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 da. Like he would say stuff as he's having sex with me as if that makes it all better. Like, you know, just crazy stuff like that. Like he would baby boy me or whatever. And then here we are having sex, like, like nothing ever happened like i wasn't just mad and pissed off that he did what he did like it would be crazy shit like that that would happen and i'm sitting here having sex and then like after it's all said and done i'm just thinking in my head i'm still pissed off and mad i'm just like oh like mad at myself now i'm mad at myself because like you did what you did then i let you come in here and fucking seduce me now he trying to act like since he did that like everything's all good everything's all cool and dandy and 
he done solved the issue. He done solved the problem. Like, he always used to think that shit would just solve the problem when he would do shit like that. But, like I said, that man had complete and utter control over me at this time. Like, he did. So, that happened. And the girl, she ended up going home. Now, this wasn't really, like, the last time, like, us dealing with this girl. Because she, she came around more than just that one time. And I'll probably do other story times on that. But that's pretty what much what happened that particular night he ended up baby boying me and i end up you know taking a damn bait and just having sex with him mind you he had just had sex with her and then he came in my room in the middle of the night and then came in there and had sex with me because he knew i was mad and he i guess he thought that that was gonna make everything all better that he came in there and had sex with me after he just did whatever he had just did and he would just completely ignore me that night when it came to the whole it's intimacy thing or whatever so that happened y'all that happened fast forward me and his nigga go to the strip club i'm just want y'all to see what type of person like what he be acting like now fast forward we end up going to a strip club we end up going out this night we was going out this night and I want to add this to the story time because this is like a short story time and I didn't want to tell that story time in its entire in its entirety by itself. So, yeah. So, fast forward, me and him end up going out this night. So, we getting ready to go out. We getting ready to go out to the strip club. I think I vlogged this too. Like, we end up getting ready to go out to the strip club, right? So, we get to the strip club, y'all. We get to the strip club and it's like, I can't remember the name of the strip club, but it was like a strip club we ain't never been to before. But we get to the strip club. It was like a little hole in the wall strip club. <laughs> um, them little hole in the wall strip clubs, they be having like some of the best uh, strip club food. <laughs> strip club food, but like the club food, it be a, a fucking one. But yeah, it was like a little hole in the wall strip club, whatever we ain't never really been to. So we get to the strip club and we turning up we having a good time we throwing ones whatever the case may be now at this particular point y'all know drinks is drink is in our system or whatever he's tipsy feeling himself or whatever i'm not really tipsy i didn't really drink too much or whatever the case may be but we in the strip club and there was this stripper who was on stage so it was a stripper on stage and he started he got up out the seat and he walked into the stage and he started throwing ones on the stripper mind you she was on the pole so she wasn't too close hold on baby so she wasn't too close by him right so he throwing ones and then he gets his camera phone out so he gets his camera phone out and he starts filming the stripper or whatever so when he's doing this i guess the stripper she didn't she didn't like that right she didn't like that he was filming her which is like if you don't want to be filmed you don't want to be filmed i get it so she see him doing that or whatever and she just like hey no pictures none of that he was just like oh i'm not i'm not taking no pictures she was like well no no videos don't film me like like none of that like don't do that like don't film me and so and then she turned around and then he looked at me and he's kind of like like please like whatever and he continues to still film right he continues to still film y'all so he's filming after the girl told him like yo don't film me while i'm up here on this pole whatever like don't film me so he continues to do it and she turns around and she kind of swings like this at his phone and he do like this like jerks back or whatever and he she was like i told you not to film me don't film me don't fucking film me delete the video delete the video like so now she mad and she like trying to get him to delete the video and he looking at her like bitch i'm not finna delete no video like you know if you like i'm not finna delete no video so she she ended up getting off the stage she get off the stage and at this point she up close up on him like delete the video da -da -da. now security then came over there a whole bunch of it's like a whole bunch of commotion all because he filmed this girl on stage and she didn't want to be filmed so it's like a whole bunch of commotion going on my daughter keep putting this blanket over her face and she can't breathe stop so um so it's like security start coming over there other men that wasn't even over there start coming over there so she like cussing him out and he like going back with her so now he arguing with the stripper and i'm looking at him like bruh you doing the most like the girl didn't want to be videotaped 
all you had to do was stop videotaping her. And then once she turned back around and saw that you were still videotaping her, and she told you, hey, stop again or delete the video, all you had to do was just stop and delete the video. Like, if she don't want you in her phone, she don't want you on her phone, she has every right to tell you to delete the video because she don't want you filming her. And I think in that strip club, you're not supposed to film them anyway. Like, they say don't film in there or whatever. So... She was basically, they was basically like going at it. Like she cussing him out. Like she telling security, the security going over there, like trying to get him to chill. It's a, a dude came over there. Now it looked like he about to have a fight with the dude that's coming over there because of this chick, whatever. So I end up, I was, mind you, I was sitting down at the time. So I end up getting up because she getting all hype. This is my man at the end of the day. Was he in the wrong? He was completely in the wrong because the girl didn't want to be filming. You still filming her. So, but I still get up anyway because I'm just like, damn like let me get up so i end up getting up i'm just like this ain't gonna have me out here fighting bitches and he in the damn wrong but i didn't get up trying to be in her face like i wasn't getting up to say anything to her i was really trying to calm him down be like you know like chill the fuck out like chill like just stop like what is you what are you doing why are you starting all this commotion like all you had to do was stop and you keep going and so he having to act like he having an attitude with me and then the girl coming at the girl come act like she's gonna come at me when I got up, I can't, I was coming at him. Like, I was trying to calm him down, but she act like I was getting up trying to come at her. So, she looking at me, like, sizing me up. Like, what's up? So, I'm looking at her like, man, what the fuck? Like, what? Like, so now it looks like I'm finna squabble with the goddamn stripper. Mind you, all her little stripper friends in the back. So, you know, if I, if I did anything, I'm probably about to get jumped by a whole bunch of goddamn strippers because of this man want to take a video of the stripper after she told him, don't do it, right? So she looking at me like that. My adrenaline's already rushing. I'm already, I'm really just pissed off at him. But now she acting like she's trying to come at me. So then I look at him. I'm like, man, let's go. Let's go. I didn't come here for this. Let's go. Let's go. So I end up grabbing my purse. And because at one point they were tussling over his phone. Like they was like tussling. And he ended up grabbing his phone back and getting his phone back. And at that point I was like, man, let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's just go. Like, right? I ain't got time for this. I didn't come here for this. Like, like let's go. So I end up grabbing my purse and I'm walking out the door and we leaving or whatever. So I'm walking out the door and we leaving. I mean, not we, I walked out the door. He stayed in the club. So I walk out the door. I'm huffing and puffing. I'm mad. I'm just like, damn, I'm like all this nigga had to do was just like stop filming. Like he doing the most. Like I'm just pissed off. Then I realized like, wait a minute. Once again, he didn't come after me. Like he didn't come outside with me. He didn't leave with me. He's still in there. I'm just like, why is he still in there? Let's go. Like, you didn't already make this whole big old commotion. Let's go. Why is you still in there? So, I'm at, mind you, I don't have the keys to the car. I don't have the keys to the car. So, I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on? So, he never came out there. I'm over there huffing and puffing. It was this one security dude. He had came outside because he saw me come outside. And he was just like, hey, you, you good? You okay? Because he saw the commotion and he saw like, how like mad I was when I stormed out or whatever after the whole little uh, car uh, I can't talk after the whole little commotion shit that went down in the strip club. So I'm just like, man, nah, I ain't good. I'm ready to go. Like, he ain't came out here. Like I'm ready to go. He need to come out here. Like can you go in there and get him? Da da da. He looked like this X Y Z. I told him what he looked like. He was just like, um, let me go see if I see him. I was like, all right. So he went in there. I don't really think he see him because nothing really happened. So then I end up walking back in the club y'all i done made this whole big scene of how i stormed out yes girl i did of how i stormed out and i ended up walking back in there so when i walked back in there he just sitting in the seat chilling like ain't nothing happened and i'm looking at him i'm like yo like let's go like you was just gonna let me walk out like you wasn't gonna come behind me or whatever he was just like I'm I wasn't leaving. Like, I'm chilling. I'm still throwing my ones and da 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 So, yeah, he just looking at me like, what? Like, uh. like all that commotion didn't just happen. And I'm still ready to go. So, after I came back in, we find, we, we end up leaving. I'm mad. I'm pissed off because I'm just thinking, like, all that shit happened because of you. It's your fault all that shit happened. Like, all because you wanted to film this stripper that didn't want to be filmed. And you just had to keep doing it after she told you not to do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, we get in the car and I'm just pissed off mad and he acting like he hostile with me because I was mad that he didn't just leave whenever I had left. Like, what are you doing? 
And so the way he was acting and stuff, I was just like, well, let me just, let me just drive. Like, because I don't like how you acting right now. And in my mind, I was just like, I don't like how you acting. She, you been drinking. I think that's what happened. Yeah, you been drinking, whatever. I don't like how you, been, how you acting. Like, cause it was just, he was just, just doing too much. And I was just like, I don't know about you, but I love my life. Like, I love my life, shit. Uh, and that's what it was. I remember saying that because when he got in the car and we was going back and forth arguing, it was like too much aggression going on. And like, he was just acting. He was so mad. He was just just doing too much in the car and the way he was driving. It was just like, man, hell no, nah, let me drive because you're not going to drive all crazy because you pissed off and you mad. So, yeah, that's basically what it was. So whenever I said that, I don't know why, but I think it triggered him in some way. Like, he got upset, like he got mad that I said that. And he was just like, oh, so you just don't love my life. And I'm like, what? Yeah, you, like, and he's like, yo, you just thinking about yourself, talking about you love my life. Cause at, I wasn't just saying that because of the fact of how he was acting all hostile and I didn't want him to drive because he was acting all hostile. But I was saying that also because when we was in a club, like, you finna get me into some shit. Like, you about to get me into some shit. Probably about to get me jumped in the club because all of them probably was ready to jump me if I were, if I were to jump stupid with somebody else up in there because of you. Like, that's how I was like, I love my life, whatever the case may be. So, he was just like, he kind of flipped it. He was just like, oh, just not my life. My, so, my, my, my life not important then, huh? My life. I'm just like, what? Like, I was so confused. When he said that, I was so confused. If I remember correctly, that's exactly what happened. Like, I was so confused. Like, what? Like, here he go. Like, flipping shit. Like, and I wasn't even meaning that way. I was just like, what? Like, nobody said that I didn't care about your life. I was just saying that I love my life. Like, let's go. Let's get out of this fucking situation because you're doing too much. Like, what are you talking about? And he get pissed off and we sitting here having a whole argument because at the time we was driving whatever and yeah that's what it was we were driving when i when i said that and he stops the car he gets out the car he's like uh i'm gonna find i'm gonna find me another way home da, da, da. i'm just like what like i was so confused like why are you mad like what like it was blowing my mind like why the fuck are you mad so now i'm in the car and i'm driving and this stupid ass fool is walking down this dark ass road and i'm like driving like following i'm like what are you doing get in the car get in the car like because i'm like where do you think you're going on foot get in the car but as i'm saying this y'all i'm crying like i am boohoo crying like oh my god <laughs> like i am boohoo crying because i don't really know what's going on he tripping he got me in my feelings now i'm feeling sometimes well like what are you doing get in the car get in the car and he looked at me he was just like Stop fucking crying like a baby. You just crying like a baby. Stop crying like a baby. Damn, don't I want to hear that? Like, and I'm just looking at him like, I'm crying. Like, and I'm trying to explain to him why I'm crying. Like, so like, he's yelling at me, telling me to stop fucking crying like a baby. Like, I'm just crying because of everything that's transpired, transpired that night. Um, I'm upset because of how he acting and like how he coming at me. So like I'm crying and stuff like that. And he's basically telling me like, stop all that crying. Stop crying like a fucking baby. Da -da -da -da. Like just going off. And, I, and that's making me cry even more. Like what? Like, oh my God. Like, but I'm still trying to tell him to get in the car. Like, what are you doing? He was just like, stop fucking following me. Stop following me. Like, he's just going insane, crazy, right? And I'm in the car. And so he, like, ended up going the opposite way of where I was at and walking down the road. And I'm just like, and I'm sitting here crying. Like, what are you doing? Like, where are you going to go? Like, what are you doing? So I end up pulling up beside him as he's still walking. And every time I would pull up on the side of him, he would, like, huff and puff and, like, go the opposite direction like he really was not trying to get in the car and i'm sitting here trying to figure out like when did all of this go left like why is this happening why are you acting like such a jackass right now now you acting like i did something wrong when you just started all that commotion in the club and i was trying to de-escalate the situation and leave and you didn't want to leave what the hell is going on right now like i was so confused like he did not want to get in the car y'all y'all he was so good at doing that like 
he'll do something wrong and like he's causing a situation or whatever but somehow he ended up flipping it on me or he mad now he mad at me and i'm sitting here trying to figure out like wait a minute what like why are you how are you gonna be mad at me and you don't want to cause all this commotion like he was so good at always flipping shit some type of way or putting some on me or now he mad at me and i'm sitting here confused because it's just like how are you mad at me and you the one who just caused all this commotion like what like he was flip shit gaslight manipulate like just all types of shit y'all it was crazy he did not want to get in the car so i'm just thinking to myself like what are you what is he gonna do like is he about to call an uber to come get him like he just didn't want to get in the car like he just wanted so i kept on trying to like follow him to get him to get in the car like what are you doing get in the car let's go home like you tripping so eventually i guess he got tired of me doing whatever i was doing so he got in the car like with an attitude i think if i if i remember correctly he did end up getting in the car so he ended up getting in the car y'all he ain't saying nothing he's still acting pissed or whatever get in the car get on the inside and we end up going to sleep y'all and that was basically the end of the whole night or whatever but yeah y'all so that's basically what happened he started up this whole commotion everything that happened that night was his fault in the whole strip club somehow it flipped and turned on me i'm the fucking bad guy for wanting to leave and, and loving my life apparently so yeah y'all so that's basically what happened y'all just crazy as hell like i really don't know where that man thought he was finna go on foot okay we was probably about a cool 40 minutes away from where i stayed at the time so i was just like where the hell is you going and then at that time it was like probably four in the morning damn near five o'clock in the morning so where is you going sir like i need you to pipe down and get in this damn car like i said <laughs> like what but yeah y'all it was a crazy crazy ass night y'all um i had to throw that in there because at first i was gonna do that story time by itself but i was like no i need to throw this in there with this story time but yeah y'all that is episode six uh, i don't know why i said episode six this is episode seven not six this is episode seven y'all with me and my crazy ex okay i don't want to call him crazy but yeah he was acting crazy that night or whatever but yeah y'all that is the end of the story time oh i did say i was gonna do a shout out um a shout out to to y'all in the comments but i forgot to i forgot to look up the name yeah. In the comments and i'm filming right now so i can't really see it i can't really see oh i know a name off the top of my head that always be in the comments um she's an og she's an og subscriber so uh my subscriber uh shout out goes to tiffany tiffany I it's tiffany diamond so shout out to you girl for always supporting and being subscribed shout out to you girl got her whole handle on her name but shout out to you tiffany i'll probably like put your little handle up here or whatever once i go back and look but yeah it is tiffany so shout out to you tiffany girl for commenting commenting below i believe she commented on the last video she didn't sorry but no but we gonna shout her out anyway so shout out to you girl for being an og a loyal subscriber always tuning in i love you girl thank you so much for all your love and support okay um so make sure y'all stay tuned for episode eight that'll probably be coming next week maybe sometime next week but yeah if i can get another video out after this one i will sooner than next week but we'll see y'all uh, make sure y'all like up this video okay make sure y'all comment below hit that bell so you're always notified when your girl's about to upload another video we are on the road to 10k okay and hopefully 8k before my birthday my birthday is september the 26th y'all so let's turn up okay september the 26th so let's try to get to 8k by my birthday fingers crossed that we can do it for me and baby girl but um yeah y'all so like i always say to your mama your daddy your auntie your uncle your cousins and them to subscribe to your girl because we stay wet lit and we always lit over here baby and until the next video y'all your girl is uh, bye y'all